Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn something about air hostess cabin crew jobs. Myself Anjali Tomar, HR manager at Air Cruise Aviation Private Limited. Cabin crew. A flight attendant, also known as steward or stewardess or air host or air hostess is a member of the air crew aboard commercial flights, many business jets and some government aircraft, collectively called cabin crew. Cabin crew primarily responsible for passenger safety and comfort. Responsibilities of a cabin crew before takeoff. Prior to each flight, flight attendants attend a safety briefing with the pilots and lead flight attendant. During this briefing, they go over safety and emergency checklists, the locations and amounts of emergency equipment and other features specific to that aircraft, type boarding, which particulars are verified such as special needs passengers, small children, traveling, as a campaign or VIPs, where the conditions are discussed, including anticipated turbulence. Prior to each flight, a safety check is conducted to ensure all equipment, such as life vests, torches, equipments are on board in the right quantity and in proper condition. After takeoff, once up in the air, flight attendants will usually serve drinks and offer food to passengers using an airline service trolley. When not performing customer service duties, flight attendants must periodically contain cabin checks and listen for any unusual noises or situations. Checks must also be done on the lavatory to ensure the smoke detector hasn't been disabled or destroyed and to restock supplies as needed. Regular cockpit checks must be done to ensure the health and safety of the pilots. They must also respond to call lights dealing with special requests. All loose items, trays and rubbish must be collected and secured along with service and galley equipment. All hot liquids must be disposed of. A final cabin check must then be completed prior to landing. Eligibility criteria to become a cabin crew. Education, height, BMI, age, fluency in language, be able to swim, no tattoos in sight. Education. Individuals who want to pursue careers in the aviation industry can pick from a selection of certificate and diploma programs after completing 10 plus two. Height. Female flight attendants need to be five feet two inches to six feet three inches in height. Male flight attendants need to be five feet seven inches to six feet three inches in height. BMI, that is body mass index. Height and weight in proportion to each other. 18 to 22 for females and below 25 for males. Age. Age limit required for the cabin crew recruitment is 18 to 35 years. For experienced male and female, the age limit is between 18 and 35 years. And for trainee cabin crew, the age limit is between 18 and 27 years. Fluency in language. If you check a cabin crew job for whatever airline, you will see that 
one of their requirements is that the candidate have to know fluent English. Some airlines want the candidates to know fluent English plus another language. But most airlines is okay with only fluent English. Be able to swim. Swimming is compulsory for this profession. So if you're not able to swim, you should begin taking swimming classes. As many of the airlines demand for that. No tattoos in sight. Generally, companies accept tattoos as long as they are not visible when wearing the uniform. But bear in mind that there are companies like Qatar Airways which does not accept any tattoos, even if they are not seen when wearing the uniform. Where to apply for cabin crew? You need to keep an eye on the airline company's career website in order to see when they are hiring cabin crew. In the next slide, you can find the most searched airline companies for the position of flight attendant. Emirates, Qatar Airways, Etihad Airways, Gulf Air, Oman Air, EasyJet. Prepare before the interview. Perfect CV and photos. Inform yourself about the airline and how the interview goes. Attend an interview cabin crew course. Perfect CV and photos. The first thing the recruiters will see when you apply for the job is your CV and photos. That will make the difference between being accepted or not. You can build your CV in such a way that you showcase your achievements in bold, which will help the recruiter to shortlist you. Inform yourself about the airline and how the interview goes. Before attending an interview, make sure you have informed yourself about everything it is to know of the company you apply to. Also, you can look on the company's website and from there you can gather a good amount of knowledge about the company. Also, have other option on the internet. Attend an interview cabin crew course. Now, if you want to ensure your selection, you can go for some options where you can take some mock interviews. These interviews will help you to understand what type of question comes up in the interview and how much you're able to tackle them. On the day of interview, here are some important aspects to consider on the day of interview. Body language, posture, hands, tone of voice. Body language. The little signals that we unconsciously send to the people we interact with show exactly what we feel at that certain time. We can decode somebody's body language better than anything else. So, it will pay off to be aware of it. Posture. Sit upright, but not too stiff in your chair. This shows that you are comfortable and confident. Lean slightly forward. This shows you are interested and involved. Very slightly tilt your head to one side. This shows you are friendly and open. Hands. Rest your hands loosely clasped in your lap or on the table. Do not touch your face. Touching your nose or lips can indicate that you are lying. Do not elevate your hands above the neck. This shows that you are nervous and annoyed. Do not cross your arms across your chest. This shows a defensive attitude. Tone of voice. Breathe and pause. 
before answering the questions. Vary your tone and pitch. Smile and nod at appropriate times, but don't overdo it. Don't laugh on your own. Laughing along with the interviewer is more appropriate. Always use words to answer questions. Don't reply with just nods and handshakes. Don't forget, get plenty of sleep the night before the interview. Yawning in front of the interviewer suggests boredom. Don't consume alcohol the night before and avoid spicy or garlic rich food as these may taint your breath. Sample questions asked in interview. What do you think are your best qualities? What skills should a member of an airline cabin crew be expected to have? How would you deal with an unruly passenger? Give us an example of when you have dealt with an unruly customer. Do you work better as part of a team or on your own? How would you deal with a colleague you didn't get on with? Recall a time when you had to work with a colleague that you did get on with. Interview questions and answers conclusion. Stay relevant. You really have to listen to the question and provide a concise answer. Always stick to the question you were asked. Don't stray away from the discussion and move to irrelevant and unrelated topics. Provide examples. You can say you can do something or you can give examples of things you have done. Prepare in advance some examples and answer the questions in specifics, not in generalities. You can say, yes, I have done that before. Here is an example of a time I did that. Did this answer your question? Be honest. Dancing around a difficult interview question is not the best approach. If you don't have a skill, just tell the interviewer and don't try to cover it up by giving examples that are not relevant. Even if you don't have the particular skill, you might have some related skills and you can discuss them further if the interviewer wants to hear more. Best things, a cabin crew. Get paid to see the world. One of the greatest advantages of being a cabin crew is that you get to see new places. It is a bit like a free short holiday and they even pay you for that. So people who want to explore the world definitely go for this job. Greatly reduced flight costs for yourself, friends and family. When they are on a holiday, can get holidays for a cheap price, as most airlines offer to their workers discounted or free tickets. Free accommodation. If you are a fan of luxury and comfort, this profession is right for you. Once in a while, flight attendants get the exclusive opportunities to try out the nice and fancy hotels. It can even be five-star hotel with silver linings and free champagne in the room. Therefore, it is really amazing to rest in the highest class bed sheets. Lifestyle. The lifestyle of flight attendant destines you to always meet new interesting and different people. In a result, you will make friends all around the world, some of them for life. Self-motivation. Now at the end, it is all about how you prepare your mind for this particular job. You can go for some study material which can motivate you to do good in life and will upgrade your knowledge at the same time. Thank you.